Welcome to the Golden State Warriors News Today channel. Take the opportunity to leave that like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go to today's news. According to respected NBA insider Mark Stein, the Orlando Magic are once again interested in signing Clay. Yes, the Magic have their eyes on one of our greatest shooters. They have plenty of salary space and are ready to make you a tempting offer. The question is, will Clay be willing to leave the Bay Area? Can Orlando take Clay from us? Orlando Magic, with young and promising team, could be an attractive destination for Clay, especially if their offer reaches $30 million per year. That's a considerable sum, especially for a player who, although still effective, is no longer at his defensive peak. In his last 22 games of last season, Clay averaged an impressive 19.2 points per game, shooting 41% on three pointers, but his defensive performance left something to be desired. If you were Joe Lackup, how much would you pay to keep Clay Thompson in San Francisco? Does 20 million seem fair? More? Any less? Think about it and leave your opinion. How much is Clay's loyalty worth? Clay Thompson is more than a player. He is a living legend of the Warriors. With four titles under his belt, he has already earned his place in the Hall of Fame in our hearts. But now with the Orlando Magic and perhaps other teams like the Detroit Pistons and Philadelphia 76ers interested, the Warriors face a difficult decision. Should we fight to keep Clay at any cost? Or would it be more prudent to reallocate our resources? The upcoming season will be a crucial test for our management. With the Warriors trying to avoid the dreaded luxury tax and Clay approaching the final stages of his career, it may be time to balance emotion with reason. Another bombshell going around is the possibility of Brooke Lopez joining the Warriors. Brooke, currently with the Milwaukee Bucks, is a veteran who has reinvented himself as one of the league's most efficient centers, especially three-point shooting. The proposal came from the folks at Fansided, suggesting that the Warriors could try a trade to bring him to our team. Is it worth trading young talents for Brooke Lopez? The suggested trade idea includes sending Moses Moody, Kevin Looney, and Gary Payton II to Milwaukee in exchange for Brooke Lopez. Lopez is a 36-year-old player who offers a unique combination of rim protection and ability to space the floor. However, he will only be under contract until the end of next season, which raises the question, should we sacrifice promising youngsters for a veteran player? Moses Moody has shown great potential and many believe he could be a key player in the Warriors' future. Looney and Peyton are also valuable parts of our rotation. The trade only makes sense if we believe that we are one step away from another title, and that Lopez is the final piece of that puzzle. We are at a crucial moment, Warriors Nation. Difficult decisions are ahead of us. Clay Thompson and Brooke Lopez are names that could define our near future. We want to hear from you. Should Clay stay and be a warrior for life? Is Brooke Lopez the answer to our needs in the bottle? Leave your opinions in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Together, we will continue to explore every rumor, every possibility, and root for the Warriors' success. Clay Thompson is, without a doubt, an iconic figure in Warriors history. His contributions were fundamental to the four championships we have won in recent years. He is a player who, when in form, can change the course of a game with his ability to hit three-point shots in decisive moments. But is it worth paying $30 million a year to keep Clay? Honestly, I think this is a complex decision. If we analyze the current context, Clay is entering the final stretch of his career. While he is still an impressive offensive force, his defense is not what it was before the injuries. Paying so much for a player who is no longer in his prime could compromise the team's finances and limit our ability to build a balanced and competitive squad. On the other hand, there is the emotional value and locker room impact that Clay brings. He is a warrior at heart, and his presence means a lot to the fans and the team's identity. So the question becomes a balance between financial value and sentimental value. If I had to make a decision, I would say that the Warriors should try to keep Clay, but with a salary adjusted to the current reality of his performance and impact. Something around 20 to 25 million per year seems more reasonable, allowing him to finish his career where he started but without sacrificing the team's financial flexibility. Brooke Lopez, a good move? Brooke Lopez is a fascinating player. He transformed from a traditional center to a lethal floor spacer, capable of contributing significantly on both offense and defense. His three point shooting and ability to protect the rim would be valuable additions for the Warriors, especially on a team that values spacing so much. 
However, trading promising youngsters like Moses Moody, Kevin Looney, and Gary Payton too for a veteran like Lopez is a big risk. Lopez is 36 years old and in the final year of his contract. This means we may be sacrificing the future for a short-term solution. Moses Moody, in particular, has shown flashes of potential that could make him a key player for the Warriors in the coming years. Looney is a reliable rebounder and defensive pillar, and Peyton too brings energy and defense to the second unit. Losing them for a player who could leave at the end of the season or who could decline quickly due to age may not be the best strategy. If the Warriors truly believe they are one piece away from a title, and that Lopez is that piece, then it might be worth taking a chance. But otherwise, I'd rather see the team invest in developing its young talent while looking for opportunities to add veteran pieces without compromising its future. The Warriors are at an interesting crossroads. On the one hand, we have loyalty and history with Clay Thompson. On the other, the need to prepare for the future with promising young talents like Kaminga, Moody, and others. And then, there's the desire to maximize what's left of Stephen Curry's career and compete for more titles now. My opinion is that maintaining a balance between these forces is crucial. Valuing the loyalty and past contributions of players like Clay, while still preparing for the future and positioning yourself to compete in the short term, is key. We would be wise not to go overboard on contracts that could compromise our financial flexibility, while also looking for smart ways to add talent that complements our team without sacrificing the future. We are in an exciting and challenging time to be a Warriors fan. And as always, I can't wait to see how it all unfolds. Let's go together, Warriors Nation. Until next time, and always with that battle cry, go Warriors.